Hello everyone, I'm Ludwig Marty and welcome back to The Vendor. Uh, I watched the person who made this game and uh, he did a live stream yesterday and I watched little bits and pieces of it and uh, I actually figured out how to play the game and I was actually doing it wrong. Uh, when you're trying to find the armor or whatever the, the people need, the heroes need, it's better to look at uh, what they're fighting first because it will tell you. I'll show you guys. There it is. Okay, if you go near the monster. Yeah, there we go. So that's what I need to beat it. And uh, a lot of stuff like the salt coating. I think you need diff different things and you need to trade those things with other vendors or people to create it. Which makes this game even better. Um, the creator also told me that as soon as you start you can go all over the map. You don't need to wait to take the, the boat or anything. Which is a really, really neat. So I'm going to pick up all these shiny things. Because they grow back. Oh, and also, I'm not going to be, I don't think I'm going to be doing a lot of videos of this, because when he played it, he played it for almost three hours, so that would turn out to be like 20-something parts, which is crazy. So yeah, I watched him play for a bit. I also wrote some notes, I don't know if you guys can see that, to help me play this game a lot better so I know what vegetables I need the most and what I don't need much of. Hmm. 
Okay, so I have that fire tone. Also, every time you guys buy something, write down the price so you know what it is. Um, more shinies. But uh, the developer of the game is working on some updates, and maybe like a haggle and barter, which would be a really neat feature in this game. Don't know why, but that caught my eye as soon as I walked in. There we go. Okay, so salt coating. I need two tables. I don't think I have any. Now let's go back and see if we can beat him. Hopefully that's a clam.
Oh yeah, hopefully this works out. So the way this works, I'm pretty sure, is that they just said, well they said they had a thousand dollars to spend, then after that the guy said that's only half, so they have two thousand spending money. So what I bought, comes up to more than that. So I'm going to have to not give them some stuff. Or haggle my price or whatever. Okay, so I paid 225. So I made a bit of profit there. I kind of figured out wouldn't work. <clears throat> what? survived. So now we try again. <clears throat> and what happened there? was uh, I tried to sell him the iron armor and he thought it was too much because they were already out of money. I just wanted to show you guys that in this game you kind of have to do a little bit of simple math and figure things out on your own. But uh, and then the next part, I'll show you guys me getting everything. I'll uh, do the math and make sure I have just enough for everything without losing much money or losing any at all. But this game's great, you know, you gotta use your head, you have to figure things out. Um, it's awesome. I'm 
part I like the most is that it's an RPG game and a vending game at the same time, which you don't see ever. It's a whole new idea, which is really cool. I think I bought cold cream too, didn't I? No, I didn't. Yeah. Sure. Well, that's not good. But uh, I'm gonna be playing around with it in a bit and grabbing stuff and making this move along faster before I make any more videos. But uh, I'll try to make another one tomorrow. And if you guys haven't gotten this yet, get it. This is a great game. It's on Game Jolt. I think I left the link in the description. Yeah, check it out. I'll leave it here. Check it out for sure. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.